Hello everyone, welcome to my mini lecture. Today I'm talking about pan pastels. They're one of my new favorite mediums. Um, they've been around for a while, um, but they're really great to use. Now, the first thing that I found out when I bought myself a grace um, scale set is that the cap, they only give you one cap because there it's kind of like a makeup stack where you you know you stack them and you screw them all on to each other. At first I was kind of upset about that because I had already laid you know laid out like a cute little container I wanted to keep them in. Problems. <laughs> Anyways, I'm over it now because they have this nice little tray that you can put it in and there's a cap for that tray, so I feel good I feel good about that now. But just so you know, if you want the cap, buy them individually instead of in the set because you'll only get one cap. I imagine I'll plow through these um, and I'll buy them in the in the single if I need later. I'll have to figure out if that's more cost effective. But I wanted to go over a couple tools that I'm using. I do really like the soft tools. Um, they're, you know, sponges on these little sticks. This is my detail brush um, that I'm using, or detail sponge. I like to keep the light colors on the top and the dark color on the back, so when I need to get in there, um, I just flip it depending on what value I'm needing. Along with that, with my oval brushes, it's kind of like my most used one. Um, I labeled it light and dark. My husband says this is just, you know, another excuse for me to use my label maker, which I do very much enjoy. Um, but it's really helping me to pick up the right one so I'm not laying down lights in my darks and darks in my light, and I'm not dirtying my tin, which can totally happen if you're putting a dark thing like this into a lighter sponge. So watch out for that. Maybe use a label. Maybe I'm a little anal retentive. I don't know. <laughs> now, um, the soft tools, a lot of the kits come with these sponges. I don't have much use for them. They do kind of, like if I'm trying to spread a big area or if I if I wanna smudge something, when I lay it down, I take a lot of thought into where I'm laying it down. So I'm not doing a lot of moving around of the pastel. So I don't really use these, use these very much unless I'm really trying to soften an area. Plus they're super big. Um, one thing that I found this one um, particularly helpful is that when your tin, if you are to get, um, you know, some different color in your tin, you want to keep it clean, use this to swipe out. Um, that is really, really helpful. I found that um, to work quite great. Now, of course, Pan Pastel, the first thing they say on their um, directions is not to apply water directly into the pan. Of course, that's the first thing that I did when I got my pan pastels, but something to think about if you're looking to invest. Now, I broke out, when it comes to lifting off pastel, whether it's a mistake or um, you wanted a different value there, um, whatever reason you wanna lift out, or maybe that's the technique that you're using to draw, um, I'm lifting out with a brand new kneaded eraser. I cracked open a brand new one for this job. Um, a lot of my other kneaded erasers that I've had literally since before art school. <laughs> yeah, I, have, I have some kneaded erasers from high school. And God only knows what mediums are in there. I've got um, color pencil, graphite, all, all this mixed media put in there. Probably even some trying to rub off acrylic paint too. So um, yeah, use yourself a brand new one to lift out whether you're drawing or, or fixing a mistake. I'm just breaking off of this um, when I need it. What else can I say about Pan Pastel? I think I covered everything. I am using some pencils to get in with detail, um, but I do soften those up with the um, sponge to kind of keep the continuity of the style that I'm going for. Um, let me know if you've tried it or you like Pan Pastels um, or you're thinking about investing. Have a good one, have a great week, and uh, we'll talk again soon. Bye.